Hello, uh, my name is Glenn. I am part of the tech team here at SCH, and I'm going to take you through how to get set up on our new printers running the SafeQ software. How to register your card, that way you can go ahead and start printing, copying, and scanning. So let's go take a look. So here I am standing in front of one of our new printers running the SafeQ software. The software is going to give us access to a bunch of new features as well as give us the ability to be able to print to a wider variety of printers all throughout campus. But in order to get started, the first thing we're going to have to do is set up our ID card. So I'm going to come over here and grab my ID card and locate the ID card scanner right on the printer. I'm just going to take my ID card, place it right down on there. And the screen will let me know that I have not yet activated my ID. So all I have to do in order to do this is type in my username and password, the same one I log into my computer with as well as my SCH. I will not need the at SCH part um, of my email address, just the username and password. And the nice thing to mention here is that even if I forget my ID at home, I can actually just go ahead and log on to the printer any printer I have access to using my ID and password. So if you forget your ID, no worries, you can still go ahead and print. Once I've typed in my ID and password, I'm going to go ahead and click the login button right down there on the bottom right hand corner. Once I've done this, my ID is all set and registered. I can go over to any printer that I have access to, drop my ID card onto it, and retrieve any jobs that I have sent. When I'm all done printing, I'm going to make sure that I grab my ID off of the scanner, come right over here to the printer, and in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a little door with a arrow on it. That is the log out button. It is the only orange button down at the bottom. And then the next time when it's time to come and print, all I have to do is take my ID card that I've registered, drop it right over here on the scanner, and I will already be signed in. I won't have to type my username and password again uh, unless I get a new ID.